For information technology specialists, the supercomputer U-Queen is a dream come true. It can achieve quadrillions of calculations per second, more than the equivalent of 100,000 personal computers running at once. It's six times faster than its predecessor, but uses only one-sixth of the energy. Despite its size and power, it's still not the world's fastest supercomputer. Its developers, however, say they aspire to be sustainable rather than number one. I think the compromise we've made here over the years to try to always be among the top ten is a healthy compromise, especially when you consider the cost involved and the performance. Uqueen is already being put to use in a new research undertaking, the Human Brain Project. This brings together some of Europe's top scientists, including brain specialists, doctors, computer scientists, physicists and mathematicians. They're trying to use the supercomputer to simulate the entire human brain, from individual cells to large, complex areas of the brain. The project is expected to take 10 years. The human brain is extremely complex. There are 100 billion neurons and then about the same number of what are known as glia cells, which are cells that help the neurons to function. We want to map the entire network correctly and then try to understand how they work. Today not even the most powerful computers are up to this task. Scientists are eager to analyze different sections of the brain. But just one sample yields more data than a single personal computer can process. The only way to create a model of the entire brain is to have a computer with gigantic amounts of memory. The new supercomputer has brought this vision a little closer.